He's not home that much anymore. He's not home at night. And I, and, and I miss him. I'm used to having him around all the time, and now he's not there, and I miss him. And you haven't I told him. No, because then he would quit his job, and I don't want him to quit his job because it makes him happy. So just keep your mouth shut. Yeah. You know, sometimes even in <laughs> perfect <laughs> marriages, you can't always be blissfully happy. Sometimes you have to make compromises. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. For what? Um, I don't know. Your, your troubles sort of make me feel better. And I feel bad about that. It's sort of sick. No, <laughs> it's not. It's honest. But we're not. We're fine. We're not. It's not, it's not bad. We just, we just need some time. Alone. And as a matter of fact, I've arranged that. You have? Yes. Well, what, where, when? Well, our anniversary's coming up. I planned an amazing vacation just for holding me and the kids. Oh. Far away from Oakdale, very far away from W-O-A-K. Oh, that's great. You guys must be looking forward to it. Uh, he doesn't know about it yet. It's kind of a surprise, so please, it's a secret. Please, I don't keep a secret. So I guess there's a place for secrets, then. Sometimes you have to keep secrets. When it's necessary. You just have to know where to draw the line. That's right. That's true. And I think we all have this instinct inside of us when it's time to come clean. Really? I don't know. If I, if I have that instinct, it gets a little rusty. So if you see me floundering at all, just give me a shove in the right direction, would you? Because I, I really don't want to lose the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know, Carly, I will do everything I can to help you and Jack. He will. Of course. That's what family does. Oh, right. <laughs> you and I are going to be family. What a concept. If you... Mm, thank you. And thank you both for being so supportive tonight. Especially after everything else. Ah, uh, bygones, Carly. Leave them in the past, where they belong. I'm really glad you feel that way. And the two of you being in our wedding party, it's a good start, right? Well, listen, I really had to break up this, this little party, but I gotta get back to the station. All right, well, uh, good night, and thank you again for everything. Oh, good night, and congratulations. Thank you again. for Very everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Lisa some cash, and then I'll, I'll drop you off on the way, okay? You know, you know, Jack, hmm. I think I should hang out here and, and finish up with Lisa. I think she's going to buy some of my designs. Great, but are you sure you're going to get home early? Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Right. Good night. And thanks for, I had a wonderful, wonderful time. Oh, there's many more where that came from. Excuse me. Oh, think about it. After you tell me why the hell you're stalking me. I might have dinner. It's just a coincidence that I happen to be at this restaurant as well. Yes, I grew tired of the lake view, and this is one of the better known places. Now, if you'll excuse me. And it's also a coincidence that every time I turn around, you're there. And that you just happen to bump into my fiance tonight? Jack Snyder, delightful man. Yes. Also an excellent cop. I'm well aware of Detective Snyder's occupation. You see, you know so much about me, and I know nothing about you. I don't even know your name. It's Phillips, Miss Tenney. And knowing all about you is part of my job. Oh, your job. <laughs> and what exactly is this job, besides handing people million-dollar checks and then stalking them afterwards? I'm not at liberty to say any more. Fine. Don't. Maybe I'll just have Jack check you out. Well, that would be fine with me, but it might present a problem for Mr. Snyder. Oh, why is that? Because I'll be checking out of the Lakeview very soon. I have business to attend to in Hong Kong.